EMA, Exponential Moving Average. What is it and how is it so useful? Like a simple moving average, SMA, it is a calculation that takes the arithmetic mean of a given set of prices over a specific number of days in the past. However, an exponential moving average is a weighted average that gives greater importance to the price of a stock in more recent days, making it an indicator that is more responsive to new information. There are several different EMA lengths, such as 10-day, 50-day, and 200-day moving averages. The lower the day, the more recent the EMA line and therefore more up-to-date and usually closer to the current price. EMAs are actually used to create other indicators, such as the MACD, but they can be a technical indicator in themselves and can be used for buy and sell signals based on crossovers, divergences, and acting as support and resistance. The most common ones are the 30, 50, 100, and 200 EMA. But how do you actually use it? Traders often use EMAs to determine a trading bias. If an EMA on a daily chart shows a strong upward trend, an intraday trader strategy may be to trade only on the long slash buy side. Basically, when the price is consistently above the 200 EMA line, then the stock is in an uptrend and vice versa for if it's below. The EMA effectively determines if and how much the stock is in an uptrend, downtrend, or going sideways. This is also generally considered for the other EMAs, but the higher the EMA, the more accurate the long-term trend. You can use EMAs as support and resistance zones, as price often reacts to them. Sell when it bounces from a resistance level, or wait for a breakout, and vice versa for support, having price action, recent reaction to these EMAs, and other indicators in consideration as well. You can also use EMA crossovers. When a shorter term EMA crosses a longer term EMA upwards, then the price is trending more upwards and you can buy. When the shorter term crosses downwards, the price is trending more downwards and you can sell. While doing this, other aspects of the stock need to be of course considered. The overall trend, looking at the higher EMAs, support and resistance zones, other indicators, etc. An example of using crossovers is that when the stock is around the 200 EMA, meaning it has sideways price action, and the 50 EMA crosses the 100 EMA upwards, then it is an indication that the 100 may cross the 200 EMA as well, and therefore that it could be going into a longer term uptrend. The EMA indicator does come with some limitations, however. Economists and investors are generally split many believing that new data better reflects the current trend. But many others feel that overweighting recent dates creates a bias that leads to more false alarms. Similarly, the EMA relies wholly on historical data, and many economists believe that markets are efficient, which means that current market prices already reflect all available information. If markets are indeed efficient, using historical data should tell us nothing about the future direction of asset prices. Nonetheless, the EMAs continue to be accurate, highly profitable indicators when used in the right ways mentioned previously. EMAs are key indicators that should be combined with the other indicators, such as the MACD, support and resistances, RSI, etc. for success. All of this is heavily explained on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. With us, you can learn and master investing, business, and finance just by watching our videos. The opportunity is right here. Take it and you'll see your life change.